That was bad. <laughs> we can cut all that out. Um, so. Now let's begin. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be fun. All right, welcome back to Roto City Tech. Today we're going to try something new where obviously Kelsey's here and we're in the house. Um, but we just wanted to make a video about uh, the final four campers that we were going to choose from that were all uh, similar layout as our wolf pup. We were going to try this method out and see how it works and walk y'all through the likes and the dislikes of the campers that we had on our list. If you are new to the channel, we welcome you, and we typically work on DIY projects, whether that's my car or the camper, or we do videos over our trips that we take. And so if you like what you see, please subscribe. If you are not new to the channel, you already know that we chose the Cherokee Wolf Pup 16 BHS. We drove all the way to Iowa a couple years ago to pick this camper up, and ultimately, if we're going to get down to brass tacks, the deciding factor was simply price. The Wolf Pup was not either of our favorite camper to begin with, uh, but we chose it because of price. It was literally almost half the price. That was it. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have been a viewer of the channel, we do have a full tour of the Cherokee Wolf Pup 16 BHS on our channel already. We will link that in the description below and pros, cons, and changes after one year of ownership on that camper. So without further ado, let's begin. So first up, we will go to the camper that we purchased, a 2019 Forest River Cherokee Wolf Pup 16 BHS. Now this is a used version that I just found scrolling through, um, which shows it at 14,000, which is crazy because we bought ours for 10,800 uh, up in Iowa. But we do want to go through what we liked about this camper uh, and what we did not like about the camper. So this first photo here is of the dinette. Um, one thing I did not like about this, which we knew about it, was it really only fits kind of two people. Um, but it's really not that big a deal. Um, it is um, got the corrugated aluminum on the sides, which is a cheaper option. But as we just click through these quickly, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time because I have that review on this channel. But we got a queen bed up front. Uh, you have the capabilities of putting the TV here. Ours did not have those um, plugins right there uh, installed on ours, but it has the big refrigerator and freezer, which I know Kelsey really loves. And we got a foot flush toilet with a shower. And there's the shower there, freezer. Uh, the countertop is fairly good for the size of camper it is. Uh, two burner stove, microwave, radio, um, and that's basically it. But we're going to start out with one of the other three that we, we really considered, which this was one of them we looked at locally here in Amarillo. Um, brand new at our local place. It was, I think, 19000 somewhere around there. Um, the weight of the camper is about 33 you to... Let's see what it is. Oh, yeah. So this is a 20... 18 Heartland Mallard M185. Uh, these are similar floor plans and similar weights because we wanted to keep this under 5,000 pounds for our Forerunner. So we looked at this one locally. We actually stepped into this one and I liked this one quite a bit. Um, she didn't like the color of the interior or something. Um, but I did like... I liked how this was the fiberglass sided all the way around. It's got a nice clean look, um, which you got to pay more for that. Uh, the other thing that's really nice on this one is you have this pass-through storage in the very front. Can you make it bigger? 
and I tried it. Sorry, I can't make this bigger. It doesn't have a full oh, full screen slideshow. So it has a pass-through storage right here where the, my mouse is clicking, uh, where ours only has the door on the passenger side of the vehicle over here, and it doesn't pass all the way through. So that was cool about this one. Again, the smooth sides. This one is also about eight feet wide, where the Wolf Pup is only seven. So when we get inside to this, you'll see that the Dyna is quite a bit larger. Um, we also have the cargo doors, which was one of the things that we really wanted on these campers. And I think all of them but one maybe had this cargo door, which we have really enjoyed. So I would recommend if you're getting this style, then that's probably the way to go, having, having that access there. This one was cool. It looks like you have a little bit more ground clearance, and I also think that this one is Four Seasons approved, so it's got a fully enclosed underbelly, so when it's freezing, you don't have to worry about your water lines freezing. But we'll click through a couple of these photos. Here's the interior. Oh, yeah, I hated the colors of this one. <laughs> so I think, what, the light wood probably? No, it's like a and darker, the... like, cherry color or mm. something. Ugh. And the patterns on the cushions are kind of weird. I mean, I don't mind that. It was like the color of the wood, mostly. What I think is neat about this one, obviously, like I said, eight feet wide. Uh, the weight of the camper is still about the same, uh, about 3,500 pounds. Um, so we can fit, I think we could have fit probably four adults easier on this dinette. It is a removable dinette, so it's got those legs that can fold out so you can take it outside, which is pretty cool. It also has the uh, wall up here that goes all the way to the ceiling, which is pretty nice it's I, mean, I don't know if it's maybe more privacy if you're up there um, over here there's a double sink which is pretty nice um, it does have the big fridge over here it's got a three burner stove uh, so you, you'll just kind of notice that it probably has a few more luxuries that the wolf pup wolf pup doesn't have it's got this nice big faucet here uh, which is neat but one of the killers for us was right up here, this shelf. That's all it is. And no storage. Or no closed storage. And I mean, you have like the wardrobe over there on yeah, the we side. Have, but we ours have that. has that big thing up at the top. And you can stuff a lot more in that, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But you can definitely see, like on our Wolf Pup, this space right here is non-existent. Because this is where that extra space is where it's eight feet. So this has a little shelf here where you can put your phone and it looks like a couple drawers or something. And it also gives you the benefit of being able to walk towards this way and then get in bed if you're sleeping on the inside versus just climbing over whoever's there. Um, so that was one of the factors we did not like. We also did not like that this was just open, which seems weird to me. Um, but I mean, I'm, our cabinets now keep stuff from falling out, the stuff that stays in there all the time. So right. I can't imagine having to take that out every time we're done. Right. So we can start moving. That would be annoying. The door's kind of cool, though, back here. Mm hmm But, you know. It's an ugly color. Yeah, well. <laughs> so this one, um, just like our wolf pup, this bottom bunk folds, and then there's that door, and you can use that as storage. I do not think... This top bunk folds. Um, there is one model that has two folding bunks, um, but we will move on. Uh, ours also has a headboard. I don't think this one had a headboard over here to uh, be able to keep water or whatever, whatever we wanted. Um, so the bathroom's pretty much the same, just a shower and then a toilet. Um, I just really like the look of this one um, from the outside. Which I think you did too. I mean, it, it, it looks really clean. You don't really care. Uh, awning, speakers, the whole spiel about normal campers. Um, so that is it for that one. That one, like I said, was about 19000 I'm pretty sure. And um, I liked it. She didn't like it so much. Um, the other one that we looked at locally... When it was new, it was also, I think they had it listed a couple years ago at about 16000 This is a 2018 StarCraft Autumn Ridge Outfitter 18 VHS. 
This was actually the first camper that I found that got me interested in this layout. So similar to our Wolf Pup, it's got the corrugated aluminum on the outside. This one... The steps suck. Oh yeah, this one did not, see right here, this one did not have like our step above aluminum steps that fold out onto the ground. Uh, it just has that black um, typical camper step. Um, I do think this one was... Um, I can't remember if this was 7 feet or 8 feet. I think it was 8 feet wide, but this one... I think has a little slide out, if I remember correctly, on the opposite side. Uh, same general setup as our other campers. Yeah. So this one, you can see right here, the dinette, it looks like it's kind of high. That's because this is on a slide out. So I think the camper was only seven feet, but you got that dinette slide out to allow for a full size dinette. But when we walked into it, I felt like it was kind of cramped because it had only, which it feels similar to our wolf pup given that it's only seven feet wide, but it just felt like you couldn't use this space over here very much to me. I don't know. It gave me just kind of a cramped feeling. I didn't, I didn't feel like the slide out benefited the trailer very much. Um, this one was pretty cool though. It had like a stand right here when you walk in the door, and they call this the wardrobe right underneath it. I guess you could hang stuff there. Well, I don't like that. Okay, she doesn't like that. Because that shelf, I would be like, oh, cool, I have an extra space to prep food, and then it's like, you gotta set everything up. It's and stuff, like, I don't know, it's, it's not fluid. Right, it's higher than the other piece. Yeah. Is that what you're, yeah. Yeah, so there you go. I don't have And it to... has a skylight. Yeah. In the living area instead of only the bathroom. That's true, because ours has our air conditioner right there. Yeah. I wonder where the air conditioner is on this one. It might be a side unit. Um, but this one as well, you can see the bunks back here. does not have that full wall. This one, I believe, which we'll see here in a minute, does not have that cargo door. Um, but like I said, it has that dinette, re removable table. You can fit more people, which we probably might like now. But you also have the added... Uh, worry of a slide out whatever issues that may cause for a first-time camper uh, we do have the storage here um, that's the other thing if I click back here all this right here on our camper on the wolf pup is overhead storage and we store most of our food right there like our bags of chips our coffee our snacks they all go right there and with this slide out design they get rid of those which you would not be happy with probably no because all you really have is what's above the sink and below it and then these two which these two pieces here we usually keep like sheets and what towels and maybe extra blankets or something and so i, I don't know maybe you would have more storage uh in your dinette probably um so this one definitely is only seven feet because you can see the mattress goes wall to wall does not have a headboard over here. Um, yeah, so there's your kitchen. Oh, yeah, and I hated the fridge. Oh, so there's the AC. It's a side AC unit, no. which we didn't really like. The fridge was also small. And, yeah, I think you're right about saying how it's all different heights. It would just be like it doesn't feel like it's usable. Because what if you're, like, cutting something here and you want to scoot it over? You can't. Yeah. you got to pick and it up. And also. I think this is. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Also, above our sink, we have two cabinets, and that only has one, so that's even less storage. Right. Because now that I'm looking at this, I believe this is designed to have a TV right here mm -hmm. to plug in. And so they, they get rid of your cabinet right here so you can put a TV up, which I guess if you live full-time, maybe you like that, but we don't, we don't even have a TV in ours yet, so... You There's your... Hmm? Don't need one. Nope. Because we're outside doing stuff. So here's the bunk area. Uh, no door. Just a window. Which our window's on the top bunk. Right. And it has the door on the bottom. Um, once we did find that door option, we were a big fan of that. And we knew once we looked at this one that this one wasn't going to work. Um, same kind of bathroom setup. 
Except that one has a mirror. Yeah, that one did have a mirror, which would be easy enough to put in ours. So here's your slide out. It seemed like a cool idea at first for us. We were pretty, I think we were excited to look at it anyways, because I think this was the first one we looked at when we realized that, hey, we like this general layout. Not this particular one, but generally. And I don't know if this had pass-through storage in the front. I have to look at a different outside, because we've got this storage here. Oh yeah. So I think, yeah, it does. So it does have pass-through storage on both sides, which is pretty nice, but that's a pretty small door, so. So there's the good floor layout, which they all have this same theme, all the campers we're looking at here. So this did give us the idea that we did like this general layout. So there's the Autumn Ridge by StarCraft. Um, we will move on to the last one, and I think it was our consensus favorite, the 2019 Dutchman Kodiak Cub 175BH. Now, I found this one in South Texas somewhere, not this particular one, but the one I found two years ago, uh, brand new, and I think they were asking like 19 for it. Um, about the same weight, it is eight feet wide. You can see right here, it's got that gap between the bed and it has a wardrobe. This camper, I think we both loved it the most. Yeah. It was modern, it had everything. It was just, like eight thousand more dollars and it just wasn't worth it wasn't worth it to us uh, it was four seasons rated which means you know you could use it in the winter and not worry about <clears throat> freezing lines and stuff it already came with dual propane um and i and i just it just seems like it's a it's a little bit higher quality build i i do know that this is fiberglass on the sides and then it's an aluminum um, built trailer, so all your studs and stuff, I believe, are aluminum and not wood, like some of the cheaper ones. Uh, it's got pass-through storage. It's got a little bit bigger tires. It's got the cargo door here. It's got a super clean look, I think. There's your big cargo door. It's got its backup camera ready, which ours was not. Not a huge deal, because I figured out a way to do it. Um, it doesn't have the upgraded steps, but it does have a, looks like a pretty decent set of aluminum ones anyways. That's an easy upgrade to do. But the inside is where this one really shines. You can see some kind of off-road tires. So there's your big cargo door. This bottom bunk here will fold up. <clears throat> and so here is the inside. And I don't know. What did, what did you like most about it, you think? I just think the like backsplash subway tiles looked kind of cool because yeah. you don't really see that. It's usually the same like wallpaper material or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, it had that <clears throat> big like farmhouse sink. Yeah, right here. That was like, that's like the biggest con like flowing sink I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, didn't this one have an oven? Or no? I don't think so. But it did have the folding glass that yes. goes on top of the stove top, right which here. ours does not. You can easily fix right. that. But, I mean, that, you know, is in, sunken in. So yeah. at least if we put something on ours, it's a little raised. And I believe if we hop over and find a kitchen. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Just drawers, which ours doesn't have any drawers either. Right. And the sink right here, it's got a full cover. Mm -hmm. So when you're not using the sink, you have this whole countertop space to work. And if you're not using the oven, it's flush mounted, so it's just all one solid piece, basically. And, yeah, you get the cabinet up there, which you only get one, but you do have this cabinet plus drawers, which was really nice. And let's jump back over where we were. Um, and so also we have the full wall right here, um, a full dinette to seat four people. Uh, we do have some storage above it as well. And it also has the storage here and it has the wardrobe here. So this one, and of course this 
faux wood yeah. trim back there is really neat looking. And, and this then, one has drawers yeah. underneath the dinette as well, which I think we're going to try to add to ours um, in some way. Uh, probably not drawers, it'll probably just be doors. And there's a, the one thing I did read about people with this camper sometimes is if you leave stuff in your overhead storage and you're driving down the road, they've had things fall and break mm -hmm. that glass. Which, you know. We've had stuff fall out of our cabinets before, but ours are just wooden. Mm -hmm. and they just open and fall out. So that would kind of suck if the glass broke. Uh, it's got the big fridge, just like ours does. Yeah, there's a good picture of the sink. That's, yeah, that's really awesome. Because our sink is like that deep, <laughs> it seems like, and it's like this big. Yeah. So, yeah, that's really nice. You don't even wash dishes in it hardly, though. Well, I brush my teeth in it. <laughs> How big of a sink do you need to brush your teeth in? Wash my Imagine hands. doing dishes in that. I think I've washed a coffee cup and a whiskey glass. <laughs> Moving on. There is the flush mounted stovetop, which is only a two burner like ours. Mm -hmm. So, but it's flush mounted. Microwave the fridge and then into the bathroom so the bunk room or bunk area one thing i did not notice was this top bunk is a single yeah and the bottom is a double i think we kind of knew that but i didn't think about there's a gap right here oh yeah and so i watched a video of a guy that was doing it and he could fit his whole hand in between he said he had his 14 year old roll off and fall from the top bunk to the bottom bunk. Jeez. So I did not notice that when we were looking at this online. But the cool thing about this setup is this bottom bunk here, this folds up this way, and then this one folds up this way. And so you have the full height of whoa, the full height of your camper storage. I mean, I don't know where you store a set of skis or something, I guess. I don't know. But <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how useful that is but yeah I did not realize that there was that gap there so be aware that if you have small kids in that top bunk they might roll off you can kind of see it right here and also all these campers they have like USB ports and stuff at each location that somebody might be to charge so those kind of things were all similar across the board to all these campers this one I liked because it had the tub shower. Yeah, Not like I'm going to be taking a bathtub, but like for whenever we have kids, giving them a bath. Yeah, and even giving the dog a bath. Oh, yeah. If you have to give the dog a bath there, it would tend to get all over the bathroom. Where this one, it would be, yeah, a bit more con contained. Oh, yeah, that one was cool because it had this big skylight. Uh, when you step in our shower, which when you're 5'2", you don't really notice it as much. Even when I'm 5'10", or 9 and a half, <laughs> giving myself a little bit. I don't have to worry about it unless I lift my arms up or something. But if you're any bigger than what I am, you're going to be hitting your head. But if you have this skylight, it gives you like an extra half a foot or so as long as you stand right in the middle. That's definitely cool. That's it. Those are the campers that we looked at and we ultimately obviously chose the wolf pup i think it was just like because it's just the two of us right now and yeah. even if we do have like a kid or two like it's not going to be that bad and we know that we're probably by the time that if we do have like a couple of kids and we need more space we will have outlived that camper probably like 10 years yeah yeah, yeah. i agree and it just didn't seem worth it for the small things that were nicer. It was like, is it really like $8,000 right. nicer? Even, yeah. So y'all heard it there. Saving that much money, it's a pretty easy decision to make. Because it hit all the marks. The length of it was nice. We wanted to keep it under, I think I wanted to keep it really under 20. And all of these hit that mark. Now, I wanted single axle. We wanted the cargo door, we wanted bunks, 
and one could fold. We wanted a queen bed up front. We wanted the big refrigerator. And freezer. And freezer. And then um, all the other minor stuff, like the bigger sink, that's just that's maybe an inconvenience, kind of, but it's yeah. livable. The smaller dinette, I mean, if you have a baby, at least they're not going to be sitting in the dinette for the first little while. Most of the time, we're not we're even outside in the camper. And yeah. that's another thing, is like, we... We use that to just get out of the weather, if it's bad, yeah. or sleep. Or if it's... We're not hanging out in there. It's not like... No. That's why we haven't even put a TV in there, because right. we're not in it long right. enough. Right. But... And if we are, our eyes are shut. Yes. But if 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 we're going to learn anything in this, all of all of those four campers, I would probably recommend. I, it's hard for me to say I recommend the Autumn Ridge by StarCraft. That one started our journey on liking this layout, but I really don't think it has all of the other stuff to offer. Missing that cargo door and missing the big fridge. I Check the newer models, though. Yeah. Maybe they've updated. I would say, like, I'm the one that packs the camper. If I had to pack that camper, I would be saying probably some valid words every time. And I wouldn't be in a very good mood. Or if I had to pack the one that has the shelf instead of the yes. things above the bed... If I Every had a time pack, would fall. Yeah, I would not be happy about that one either. And you would have to always keep it nice looking. It has to be presentable. Mm -hmm. It's nice with the cabinets. You can just shove all the mess in there, which no, we don't do that. No, but. Nobody can see in there. I don't know what you would keep on that shelf. But anyways, those I, I, would, I would definitely recommend the Kodiak Cub, that, the white one that we looked at that we both loved. And the Wolf Pup, obviously. And uh, even, I like the Mallard, but she really did not. I wouldn't um, recommend that one. I, I th the quality of that Heartland Mallard is, is really high. It felt solid. It felt really nice. <clears throat> um, but again, you're going to pay more. So, And you're also going to pay more for the Wolf Pup if you're buying it local, unless you live up in that Midwest area where we drove to Iowa to get it. I mean, you saw that wolf pup here was a used one for fourteen. I mean, golly, we paid ten eight brand new. I think they raised it up to like eleven two right now, but even still. So that's kind of what we chose and why we chose it. Ultimately, price and it gave us a fun trip to Iowa to <laughs> make memories and drive two thousand miles to go get the camper. Fun trip. <laughs> yes, fun. So, anyways, hope y'all enjoyed this video. A little different. Um, hopefully it works out okay, and uh, if you liked it, please show us some love and give us a like on YouTube and share this video. If it helped you out, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're really we're gaining and gaining and gaining, and we're going to push to a thousand. Uh, that's kind of the next hurdle in YouTube. Uh, follow us on Instagram, Roto City Tech, Facebook, Roto City Tech. And uh, we'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>